Hello guys, this is Prince Jaya Kenya, back again today with another video and as you can see the title of the video is Why I joined the military. Where did the dream or the desire for me to join the military came from? Earlier before when I was a young child, did, did, I, did I ever think that one day I'm gonna find myself in the military? Or how did it came that I found myself in the military? So this is the story of my life. So. When I was still growing up as a child, I had never any, any thought of maybe one day joining the military. In fact, if at all there is a job that I really, I, I really hated, it is any, any job related to uniform, you know, I used to see that that job is so risky, especially in terms of our rights. I, I, I used to think, I, by that time I used to think that any job, any job related to uniform is so risky. So. Myself as in every every other kid that I, I I used to dream of one day going to school not to, not to go to school because by that time I was in school so I used to dream that I will go to school work hard in my education probably go to university or college do a, a civilian career and get myself a, a civilian job and my life continues from that way so there is no way I had ever thought that I would come to join the military because even I remember by the time that I was talking to to some to, to my friends sometime in a group we could talk about how your future will be like and any, any job that you would want to do so my my, my 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 interest my interest was anything related to law my interest was anything related to law, to law. that's why my my desire was to join the chief to be a chief justice of kenya my the, the country that i was born then i came and saw that that's a maybe a big career that i i can never achieve i lowered my my expectation and just finally came with the decision that I'm working hard to be to be a lawyer, a criminal a lawyer. So life went on well, everything went on well, I went to school, but unluckily I didn't study very hard. That made me to fail in my high school education or my high school final exam. And you know what? So having failed my final my high school final exam in my country, the way the things are, there is no way you can get a chance to advance your education. And if you, and if you have to you have to start from law, from that is certificate, and by the way, even the grade that I got that is D, it could not start start any course from certificate. It was very hard for me to get a job or a career that I can start with the grade that I, I got from my high school diploma. So I had no option but to but to to to, to go outside uh, to, now to to face the reality of life, to hustle here and there, you know, to hustle here and there like any other people. For the people that are born in Kenya, they know how things are there. Especially if at all a person, a person completes his high school education and he don't have any people. And now he's outside the world to 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 look for a job. So that was my my life until the year 2017. That's when remember remember I still don't have any interest to do with any jobs that is related to uniform. That is even asking for jobs of security jobs in a in a in a private company or any jobs like that because in my country, by the way. Jobs like security are very common. A lot of people, by the way, who fail in their exam or who fail to secure any job, some of them end up in security job, you know. So, 2017 came, uh, I went to driving school. My aim was to do the plant operator school. My aim was to do the plant operator course, maybe one, one day when my dad gets some, gets some money. So, while I was still in, 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 in driving school, things happen. There, there is something that I usually say, our life is programmed by God. Why do I say that, that our life is programmed by God? On August, I'm in driving school. I'm expecting one day I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to plant operator school. Well, when I get the money, or my parents get the money to fund me to, to drive to plant operator school. And now here, the chance to join the NYS. For those people that live in Kenya, they know. You usually join the NYS. The NYS gives you a career. The NYS gives you, after, after your service in NYS, it gives you a career, national youth service. So, I'm in driving school. I received a phone call from my mom. My mom told me that the NYS are recruiting and the chief, the village chief, the location of village chief has been given a chance to take two people to the NYS. To take two people. Oh no, yeah, to take two people to the NYS. And that's why she has reconsidered me to be among the, the people that, that, that can go to NYS. So at first I had refused to... At first, I had refused to go to NYS or to do anything with the NYS, remembering that the NYS is still somehow uniformed. So I told them I can never go. I can never go there. That's when another man that was constructing our, our home, he was building a, a small shop there, who was in NYS many years ago, 
talked to my mom and told my mom, you know what? Even in the NYS, they usually provide the plant operator school because that man asked my mom, where is, where is Jack or what is he, is he doing right now? And my mom told him that he is in driving school in Yahururu, where he is intending to do what? Where he is intending to, to go to plant operator uh, he, he is doing the driving so that one day he, he can go to plant operator school. So after my mom calling me and she told me that even the NYS usually offer the plant operator course, that's when now my mom gave the, that guy the phone, the phone for, to talk to me and to soothe me. And that guy really talked to me, begged me and told me that this is a free opportunity that you are getting the, for the government to give you a, a free course. Remember, see, see your background and this is the only chance that you can save your parents. Because if you just do your driving and wait for your parents one day to get the money to take you to, to plant operator school, it can take forever. And remember, you have another brother who is, who is behind you. So that guy talked to me. My mom also talk, begged me and soothed me. And finally, I accepted to go to NYS. So I went to the NYS. You know how NYS it is in Kenya. And that is when I came to realize that this uniform job are somehow very nice because you are respected. You earn your respect. You are trained. You, 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 get, you become physically fit. You, 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 have, you are trained to face any challenges. I mean, it, it's interesting. So I came to love it. And after loving it, that's when in 2018, I also like tried one day to, to I also now showed the interest for me to join even the, the, the police service in my country. But it, I, it, they had, on that year, they had, they had no any recruitment. I remember even in one of my stories, I, I don't know whether I told you that, that I was called 5,000 by scammers pretending to help me to. And so I could not make it to join the police service over there because... Even that guy who, who was, was just a scammer, he called me 5,000 shilling in the name of helping me or assisting me or guiding me on how to join the police service of whereby he was just but a, a con man. So I could not make it to join the services over there. For those people that, are, that come from my country, they know how it is hard or easy for, the, for, for somebody to, to, join the, to join the military or to join the in forces. So life went on by. I continued with my, my, my life. I completed my, my school in NYS. I got the plant operator school, plant operator course that I, I, went, I joined the NYS to do. So on 2020, that's when I graduated on NYS. Remember, in, for those people that usually for my dream is that I used to try my best to come in America because in the U.S. is a lot of opportunity because in the U.S. is a first world country. So being a first world country and my country being a third world country, I used to trace and do research, research that over here in this side there is a lot of opportunity. In this side it is it usually gives some people who have a dream, some people who have the potential and capability to do anything in this world or to do something that can impact life, but they don't have an opportunity. So it usually gives you an opportunity. So I used to try my luck to come in the US and by good luck I won a green card. After winning a green card, I came here in the year 2022. So after coming here in the year 2022, the first thing that I did, I remember even I had not received my green card. Yes, yes, I, I had received my social security card and I was working at warehouse job, but I had not yet received my green card. The next thing that I did is to find my way to recruiter. You see, the, the reason to, to find my way to recruiter, so I, I went to Google, Googled the, 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 put the zip code of my, my, my county, the one that I was living. I saw the number of a recruiter, but and I called that number. But because I was still new in the U.S., so I had no any means of transport or something like that. So, so I had to let my recruiter know that I don't have any means of transport that I can use to go to his to his or her office. And so, my the recruiter told me that you know what, no problem. I can just come and pick you at the time of your choice. So we organized and sched booked scheduled an appointment whereby we scheduled at an, an appointment at ten. And by 10, by 10 o'clock, the recruiter was in my house, in my apartment. He picked me up and we went to the office. So he, he explained to me everything about the army. By the way, the first, the first time I went to the army office, I, I didn't go to the Navy office. Although my interest was in the Navy, because even two years ago, I, after completing my NYS, I, 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 I applied a job, a security job in a, in a private company where I was just a guard. Only like uh, eight thousand eight hundred. That is, that is in US dollars. How much is it in my country? In US dollars, it's like eighty dollars. Eighty dollars a month per day. I could earn like I could earn like two dollars, two point five dollar. Even it's not two point five. Actually, it's like two dollars or one dollar point five. Less than two dollars. I used to earn less than two and a half dollars a day. So all those things summed up made me to love to love to love 
serving the civil serving the military most because I could say if at all I can do it here, even if I'm a I'm an untrained security guard, I believe that I can be trained. I believe that I have the potential and capability to serve to serve to serve the country and to serve the people and to give my best to the nation. You see, in a in a in a in a in a, in a trained position in a in a in a high rank, something like that. So I went to the army recruiter. He told me about the army, the benefits, the MOS, the jobs they have over there. But I did the PCAT, that is the practice practical test. So after doing the practice test, there I got 27. The ASV, not the, they got not the ASV, it's just the practice test. I got 27 and I was required to get to 31 for me to qualify. So I thank God because by then my interest was not yet to join the army. And I'm that person, I, I, I don't know how to, how to tell a person, no. So it was very hard for me to tell the army recruiter and the way he, he talked to me nicely, he sweet talked to me, told me about the benefit of joining the army. So we organized with the army recruiter that I will go and study so that I can go and do the practice tests again. But I, t I, t I took that like an advantage for me because I knew that I won't go back again in the army recruiter. Not that I, I don't like the army, but my interest was in the Navy. Because while I was st still back in the in, in my country, I used to do research and see these photos of the of the navy wearing dress white, and I could see them. They are very beautiful. By then, my favorite color is white. So because white symbolizes peace, most of them, I usually stand for peace. So white symbolizes peace. That's why my favorite color is white. So I used to see the I used to see the navy with their dress white, and I could see. Oh my God! One day I want to see myself in the dress white. Remember, I'm back in my country, I'm doing the security guard job, earning less than two and a half dollars a day. So, the, the day that I went to the army recruiter's office and we, 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 he took me back, dropped me in my apartment. So, the following day, I contacted, I contacted now the Navy recruiter. Okay, the reason why I contacted the Navy recruiter is because my, my interest was in the Navy. And the following day when it came, even I paid myself the, the Uber fee to... to to, I paid myself my money. Now I had to sacrifice myself to pay for to pay for what I want. So I paid for the Uber. I went to the Navy's office. We talked. I went with my doc <laughs> my document. And over there, even I didn't talk much because I had already my interest. I knew my interest was in the Navy. So even I didn't ask a lot of questions. I, I, I and I didn't want a lot of explanation from the Navy recruiter because I just told her I have come to start the process. So we started the process over there. After starting the process. I didn't have the, 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 the full doc, document required, so there is no way I could continue with the process having all the, the document required, that is green card. So I had to go back again in my home for me to wait for the green card. So after three months, I received my green card, went back to the, to the Navy recruiters, and the process continued. So I think I will come up with another video to explain how, after this, how things went, how I went to the ASVAB and failed, the reason why I failed my first ASVAB score and how I felt and how things went so that I found myself even after trying and failing I also found myself here how I joined the Navy not knowing how to swim I'll come up with those story just to motivate you I know in this world there are those people that are some of them are young people they are seeking to join the military others are there feeling the as well others are there even they are maybe they are international people like me they usually just decide to serve this the, the, the most powerful military in the world that is the United States of America but they don't have a chance the thing that I can tell you is that dreams are varied. Three years ago, I used to see the Navy, the United States Navy. I didn't know whether I can come in America. But through determination, through hard work, through trying my best and trying my luck and pray my God to help me out, my God gave me a chance. I came in the U.S. and I fulfilled my dream of joining the U.S. Navy and I'm now serving the, the, the United States of America. And I'm now in the most powerful Navy in the world. You know, I'm dedicating myself to it and I'm giving myself to it 10 over 10. So, the thing I want to mean is that failure is not fatal. Sometimes you will try some things, sometimes you will fail. But if at all you don't give up, if at all you keep on trying, there is a day that the things that you have been wishing will come to be true. I tried to come in America for the first time. I tried the second time. That's when I got it. I just came here, tried to join the military for the first time and I failed. And tried again the one that will come with the story and I got it. Even so far, the thing is, this life we keep on failing, we wake up and we continue moving. So, I just want to motivate someone outside there who have a dream and a desire to achieve something, not only to join the military, but even if it's a career or a job or to go to school and advance your education, but you don't know how to go about it. 
your current situation is not your final destination and it's not yet over until it's over you still have a time you still have a chance you still have an opportunity to make it happen just believe in yourself believe in god keep on trying and do your best and leave god the rest there is a there, there will come a day that you will see yourself there's a come a day that you will see yourself in the thing that you wished you wished one day to see yourself yourself in and there will come a day that you will say truly i did it it wasn't easy but because of not giving up because of the power supernatural power maybe if you believe in god because of the god the, the, because of god i made it you will be proud of proud of yourself you will be proud of the the journey and you will say truly i made it so that's all about it guys if please if at all you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel consider subscribing for me consider sharing this video if at all you, you, you it blesses you touches and for me bye bye and god bless you see you later with the part two of this story Thank you.